Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, how we get into more of a team defense mindset. Uh, we've talked somewhat about uh, sagging to force this movement or just sagging to, to cover more area uh, that take, take more offensive attack space away. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about poaching and switching in this video. So let's uh, assume that we have a cutter takes his man deep, comes at, and he's open for an easy under. Um, it's imperative that everyone in this stack be aware of what's going on on the field. We need to be not just staring at our person, not staring at the disc, but aware of when an open person comes in. So frequently, if that person uh, curls their cut close to the stack, we can flash into the lane, either get a, a, a D if the disc is up in the air, or at least flash and throw off the timing so that he might slow down, he might catch up. The thrower uh, pulls the disc back, has to uh, adjust uh, to a new position. So um, that's, that's one area of poaching that, that comes up frequently is near the stack. I would say another area that is even, can be even more effective is uh, to be on the lookout when your person has made a cut and now they're clearing. Frequently, people will not clear uh, very quickly or to the sideline. So when this person has made a cut, he's clearing. The next cut is coming in. He's trying to navigate the space in between the stack and this clearing cut. Now, if you look up early and see an open cut coming, Probably the best thing if you catch this early enough is to call a switch. Just simply stop in the lane and if this person has enough time to take your person coming then there's really a lot of clogging that's going to happen there. They're both covered. Um, however, if, if, if you don't see it early enough to, to call a good switch, to execute that switch, there's still the ability to flash into the lane. Um, what I like to do in these situations is to wait till the last possible time that you can flash. You'll be all along trailing and not looking at the disc, but you realize when the last possible time is that you can step in front of that person and, and, and try to get a D. That's the most likely time that the disc will be in the air. So um, it, it's important to, to know though that this is still your primary assignment if you're going to flash into the lane. So it really is just a quick flash. It's a turn of the head, turn of the shoulders, and if you see the disc coming up in the air, then you jump on it. If it's not, then you're probably likely better off just keeping on your assignment because as soon as that player notices that you're turning away from him, he's going to bust deep. 